In this lesson, we'll discuss some options and hidden features that are helpful for when the need arises. Some of these are adjusting the pen up speed, the continue function, and the view and home options. When cutting heavier material such as sandblast stencil and reflective media, and the tool is in the up position and traveling to different locations, the speed of the cutter can matter. If the speed is too high, this added speed could cause skewing. That's why it's recommended to slow down the tool up speed. The tool up speed is somewhat independent of the normal speed that we would set in a condition. To slow the tool up speed, press the pause menu key. Press the one key for tool. Press the up arrow key. Press the two key for tool up speed. The tool up speed is at auto. This means that it is set to the same speed as the pen down speed or speed in your condition setting. The material that is being cut determines the speed. Generally with heavier materials, lower this speed to control tracking. A good starting point would be to set the tool up speed to half of the tool down speed. Press enter to accept the value and then press the pause menu key. The cutting will be slow, but it can save you from unnecessary skewing. There are two options that can be very helpful when trying to view your job design. Both options appear when the cutter is in ready mode and the two options work together. When view is chosen by pressing the one button, the cutter will advance the media approximately 10 inches out. When the home option is chosen by pressing the two key, it will retract the media, sending the tool to the origin point. In fact, the home option can be used to quickly retract the media to the origin point when moving the tool head around. Keep in mind that anytime the media is unlatched, the plotter will revert to the initial menu of roll one, roll two, and sheet. When this is done, the cutter will conveniently have the added option of continue. When this option is chosen, the cutter will not scan or search for the wheels, nor for the front or back edge as it would do with roll one, roll two, and sheet. Instead, it tells the cutter that nothing has changed and it will use the previous cut area setting. This becomes handy when you may need to straighten the media if it loaded at a slight angle. Here's how this works. First hold the media with one hand and pull the media set lever down. Next straighten the media, bring up the media set lever, and then on the control panel press the 4 key for continue. As you can see this is a time saver.